so then I can use Valkyrie on top of that. Oh my god, what the heck? Okay, wait, the evil Valkyrie? No way, it just pulled the Mega Knight off, and it keeps pulling the Hog Rider. And Spear God's here. Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing the best evolved Valkyrie deck in Clash Royale. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I am going to be playing the Remielli deck here with the Evil Valkyrie and the Evil Wall Breakers. The Evil Valkyrie did get a 15% HP buff, so it should actually be pretty good now. I was going to say quite good, but I feel like pretty good accurately describes it better, I guess. Ever since it got the HP buff, the Valkyrie just survives more. Before, whenever you would place the Evo Valkyrie down, it would just kind of die right away. Just because it would suck everything in, pause, and then it would just like instantly like kill itself because the Valkyrie like just doesn't have enough HP to withstand all of those units. It should just be an easy defense here. I can just go for my Valkyrie on top of that Mega Knight. Okay, goes for the Inferno Dragon. This Valkyrie here in the middle, and then the Mega Knight will get targeted by all three towers and everything's going to die. Yeah, I think I have to Tornado here as well. Just because that Inferno Dragon had quite a lot of health. He might go for the Hog Rider, but I do have the Bomb Tower. By the way, if you guys don't have the Evolved Wall Breakers, you can always just use the regular Wall Breakers and then run Evolved Skeletons for Spear Goblins if you want to. That's fine as well. I just think that the Evil Valkyrie might be a little bit better than the Evolved Knight because the Valkyrie got a buff and the Knight got a nerf, so... I feel like they're more well-rounded now, and Valkyrie can also save you in, like, a lot of situations. Okay, I'm gonna minor Spear Goblins here. I do think that this deck will be one of the best decks in the meta. Valkyrie here for the Mega Knight. Easy defense. I do have to NATO on those bats, though. I might be in a bit of trouble. Man, Mega Knight's so annoying. <laughs> By the way, I will be testing out the Goblin Drill, I think, in tomorrow's video. Not 100% sure, but I think I will be. Just because the Goblin Drill did get a rework that I do believe is a buff. Nice Evil Wall Breakers connection there on the right. <laughs> this guy had no Elixir, so he couldn't really do anything about it. I'm just going to go for my minor Spear Gobs here, then I'll NATO on the Goblin Gang too. Nice damage. Man, this guy's not really playing the greatest. <laughs> Classic Mega Knight player. I know a lot of you guys understand the pain of the Mega Knight. Ever since I did a mid-ladder video, I've started to understand how frustrating the Mega Knight is. <laughs> okay, I think I want to kite the Inferno Dragon away with my Wall Breakers, so then I can use Valkyrie on top of that. Oh my god, what the heck? Okay, wait, the Evil Valkyrie? No way, it just pulled the Mega Knight off, and it keeps pulling the Hog Rider. And Spear Gobs here? Wait, is that no hits? Okay, I was gonna say, if that's no hits, that's broken, but wow, look at that Evil Valkyrie value. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Minor Wall Breakers here. I'm gonna NATO that away as well, and that should be good game. Oh no, it's not. Okay, that was actually... Nice by him. I didn't think he'd be able to get the Mega Knight down. Okay, I'll Val Valkyrie here on defense, and then I'll just go for the Bomb Tower. Easy defense again. Man, this deck is so good. You have such a strong defense, especially when you use the Cannoneer Tower, but don't worry, because even if you guys don't have the Cannoneer Tower upgraded, this deck works well with the Princess Tower too, and that's a good game. I'll see you guys in the next match. I am in the next match here against... Awak Heart Yoko. I probably pronounced this guy's name completely wrong, but it's whatever. <laughs> By the way, I have been thinking about making a new clan for you guys where I will be taking like participation in, I guess, and I'll be like hanging out in there. And I guess it'll just be another way for you guys to interact with me and spectate my games because I know a lot of you guys are asking me like how you can watch me more and stuff like that. And I feel like the easiest way is to just like let you guys join my clan, but I think to do that I'm going to be making a new clan, or like maybe all of my three accounts could have like a, a different clan, and then I could have like 140, like 147 people being able to watch me at once, I guess, like 147 different people, and then I could like reset that like maybe like once every few days, or like maybe once a week or something like that, and you guys could watch me just... Let me know what you guys think down below about that. I feel like that could be a pretty nice way for you guys to watch me more often, just like outside of my YouTube videos. I am also thinking about doing like daily streams or, may or maybe bi-daily streams. I'm just waiting for my new phone to come in so I'll be able to do that. Okay, kind of a bad magic archer, but I still get one hit. Then I can just defend with the Valkyrie, I guess. Not really too bad. Okay, I can activate my King Tower here. Pretty bad miner by this guy. He should have put it in the safe spot. I'll take it though for sure. Pretty nice damage lead to start off already. This guy's just playing the regular minor poison deck. Man, this guy's deck is so boring to play against. <laughs> I, re I really, really hate facing this guy's deck, especially when I'm trying to record, because I feel like most matches against this guy's deck are pretty boring, but it's whatever. We can't really do anything about it. 
I'm just going to go for my Spear Goblins here on the Skeletons. I don't want them to... Actually, I don't even need to. My King Tower is up. Ooh, bad Tesla. I'm going to mine or two. Wait, I can Evo Wall Breakers. He has no E-Spirit and no Tesla. Bad Little Prince too. Man, this guy's messing up completely. Nice connection and an another connection. Let's go. Okay, wait. I have an idea. I'm going to Evo Valkyrie here in the middle, and it should counter the Knight and the LP, right? Because the Tornado range is huge. Yeah, look at that. See, that would never happen with an Evolved Knight. Look at how good Evo Valkyrie is. It's going to Miner here. Okay, Wall Breakers too. He can Tesla, but it's still going to get quite a good bit of Miner chip. Okay, I could Magic Archer here on those Skeletons. Oh, nice. I got one hit. Oh, E-Spirit's dead. Okay, Knight's other lane. I'm just going to keep up the pressure. I'm going to log here to kill that li little prince. Nice stutter. Okay, I'm going to go for the wall breakers here too. Then I'll spear gobs for that knight just to not give him any hope or chance. Okay, I just need a bit more miner chip and it's game over. Valkyrie the bridge again. That miner's going to work. Wait, I could get a magic archer line up here. Oh, I finger slipped. Oops, I meant to put it one more to the right. If, if I put it one more to the right, that would have been tower down. I'm going to miner here to block the tesla. I'm going to evil wall breakers too. And yeah, this is a good game. This guy can't defend the... Magic Archer, because Evo Tesla, I mean, Tesla just dies to Wall Breakers Evo. <laughs> nice win. I'm in the next match here against Amir Hossein, I guess. Just going to split my Wall Breakers here. By the way, my favorite starting play with this deck is to just split the Wall Breakers. I think it's the best play, just because you can't really get punished for it, and you're usually going to get at least an equal or negative Elixir trade while also cycling to your Wall Breakers evolution. Okay, he has Barbarians as well. It looks like it's going to be Lava Hound. Not really any other decks run Barbarians and Goblins other than like Lava Loon Freeze. Okay, I'm just going to go for my Spear Gobs here in the middle. I don't have any more air cards in Cycle though, so I could be in a bit of trouble if he tries to go for a Lava Push right now. That Magic Archer is kind of dead too, unfortunate. I'll just log here on the left. He's probably going to Lava. Oh no, okay. I'm just going to Wall Breakers here. It should pull one Skeleton Dragon away. Yep, okay. Valkyrie here for that. He's going to have to defend the Valkyrie again too because the Skeleton Dragons are dead to my towers. All right, I'm just going to keep up the pressure here. Against the Lava Hound, you always just want to spam and single Elixir. Okay, I'm going to Miner. Then Spear Gobs too last second in case he Lavas. Okay. Evil Barbs? Wow, that those were just terrible. I'm going to Bomb Tower. <laughs> what was that balloon, dude? <laughs> that was awful. I can just get a free King Tower activation now. <laughs> Man, classic Lava Loon players not knowing what to do gonna activate my king tower now <laughs> let's go this should be quite an easy win now to be honest i don't really know how he can win from this position if i play well if he goes lava the back i can use valkyrie evo wall breakers the bridge I, th I think i'll do it anyway i don't think he'll expect it okay nice that should be towered down oh never mind he has a freeze i mean i assumed he had freeze but he hadn't used it yet but that's still gonna be a ton of damage nice oh my god that was a lot of damage Okay, I'm just going to keep up the pressure with the miner. He still hasn't even got to go for a Lava Hound yet. Okay, he's going to Lava, so I'll Spear Gobs right now. Still no Lava? Dude, did you not know that with Lava, you're just supposed to Lava in the back first play? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to Valkyrie here at the bridge, and then I'll Wall Breakers on the right, just to damage the Lava Hound and get some tower damage. I always like putting the Wall Breakers like this, because as you see, it did like quite a decent chunk of damage to that Lava Hound. Okay, I'll bomb tower early, then set up my spear goblins. I could be in a bit of trouble, but I should be fine because he has no really way to kill my magic archer. He only has arrows and freeze. I'll nato that backwards, and then I can just go for the Valkyrie here to kite all the support cards opposite lane, then just bomb tower in front to block for the lava pups. Yeah, easy win right there. Quite a solid defense as well. Man, this guy got completely wrecked. <laughs> easy win. I'll see you guys in the next match. Okay, I'm in the next game here against Mo Amin. I've never played against this guy before, so I have no idea what this guy is playing, but... Okay, he does have the archers, and evil archers, actually. I'll, I'll just send in my miner here. Man, the nice thing about this deck is that it actually has so much outplay potential that you can usually win every single matchup, even if they have a hard counter. You just have so many ways to get damage. I feel like this is one of the few decks in the game that it's like pretty much impossible to prevent 100% of the damage because you have the miner, you have wall breakers and spear goblins for good pressure. And then even so, you have the magic archer that you can put at the bridge and people always have to waste their elixir either trying to predict it or just like making sure that you don't put it at the bridge, which is just so, so strong. So I feel like if you need a bit of damage with the deck, this is the one that you always want to have because it's not really too difficult just to get that small sliver of damage with this deck. 
Okay, he goes for the Sparky in the back. I'll just Valkyrie at the bridge opposite lane. I have a really, really bad cycle for that. Okay, I'm not even going to NATO on those archers. I'll just let this go. There's not really anything else that I could do. He also did like a, a really good split anyways, so it's all right. If he goes for the Goblin Giant, I do have my Bomb Tower. Okay, I have the Bomb Tower anyways because of that Knight at the bridge. Okay, I'm just going to go Wall Breakers here to distract the Sparky. Okay, at least I pulled it back. I guess I'll go for my Spear Gobs and then I need the Valkyrie here too. Okay, could have been a better defense, but it wasn't bad, I guess. He could go for a goblin giant okay just mini pekka that was a bad mini pekka i can just counter that with my log man i would have been in trouble if he kited the valkyrie with the goblin giant then went mini pekka at the bridge but goblin giant sparky players can't really think that far okay i'm down four elixir i might actually be in quite a bit of trouble um yeah i'm in danger <laughs> do you guys know that one meme where it's like that one dude from the simpsons he's like I'm in danger. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. But this guy just wasted his little prince at the bridge trying to predict a magic archer. So I'll take it. I'm going to evo wall breakers here just to block that guardian and then also block for the sparky. It actually nearly killed the sparky as well. Quite a good defense right there, actually. I'll just spear gobs like this. Okay, I'm going to NATO those in. He can't even protect them because of the evo valkyrie. That's what we like to see. I'll magic archer then minor as well to pull it away. No, the Goblin Giant's going to make it not work. Man, Goblin Giant players. Why would you Goblin Giant the bridge there? Okay, I'm going to Spear Gobs just to pull over that mini P.E.K.K.A. Ooh, bad rage by him. Easy defense again. Man, I'm defending so well right now, but I'm still having quite a hard time getting any damage on the tower. If you guys didn't know, Sparky is one of the hardest matchups for the Minor Wallbreakers Magic Archer deck. Just because you don't really have any good distractions for the Sparky or even ways to kill it when it's behind a Goblin Giant. Because they can always just Arrows Rage your Magic Archer and it's dead. Okay, I'm going to Valkyrie here to kill that. Then I'll Spear Gobs again. Playing pretty well so far. I'm just going to Wallbreakers to kite the Mini P.E.K.K.A. opposite lane. Wow, amazing. And the Magic Archer lives. That was beautiful. I'm going to Miner here. Okay, I'm going to NATO that opposite lane. Threaten him with the Magic Archer. Okay. I'll take that though anyways. At least I forced out a Knight. I'll just go for the Magic Archer again. Bomb Tower 2. I do have Evolved Wall Breakers if I need them. Okay, I can Valkyrie here to kill those. Man, this is so stressful. Log. Spear Goblins too, please. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to Evolve Wall Breakers behind that Magic Archer. I don't know if he can defend this that well. Okay, never mind. He had the arrows ready. Okay, just Magic Archer again. I just keep setting up with the Magic Archers. I've been so annoying. Okay, I think I should save my Evo Valkyrie. Evo Valkyrie could maybe come in clutch on defense if I distract the Sparky well. A at least he had to waste the Knight in front of his push. That's quite good. Just log it. Oh man, this is so stressful. I'm going to Miner to pressure while defending. Spear Goblins. And then I'm going to go for the Magic Archer on the side. I'm going to Evo Valkyrie here. Evo Valkyrie should kind of go crazy. Wow, look at that Valkyrie NATO it back. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Another gorgeous defense, just minor wall breakers, and this should be GG's. Yep, he calls it. Wow, what a game, man. This is what I mean. This deck has way too much outplay potential. I'm in the next match here against VK Zal. Just gonna spear gobs to bridge here and try to figure out what this guy's playing. Okay, he does have the rage and the skeletons. Is it Elixir Golem? Man, no, not... I thought Elixir Golem was done this season, but... I guess Elixir Golem is back again, man. I thought with the Evo Valkyrie buff, people wouldn't really run Elixir Golem. Just because obviously Valkyrie is amazing against Elixir Golem. But man, E-Golem players just don't learn. Bro, he even caught my Miner. This is kind of bad. I mean, it should be a good matchup for me. Just because I feel like it's quite hard for this guy to break through. But it is pretty annoying when he goes to Elixir Collector and I don't really have a way to deal with it. Okay, nice. Nice damage right there on the right side. I'll just log on the pump. He's probably going to pump up again, though, so I might be in a bit of trouble. I'm going to wall breakers and miner on the pump. If he catches this miner, I think I lost the game, to be honest. Oh, thank. Oh, my. Wow. He actually didn't catch the miner. That was pretty lucky. It was, like, right there, too. I definitely thought it had. I'm, I'm almost to the Evo Valkyrie, which should be nice against E Golem, taking out his bats and also his skeleton king skeletons in his night witch bats too yeah evil valk's gonna get a ton of value in this matchup what are those bats why did he just waste his bats like that i feel like bats are really good for him in this matchup so he shouldn't be wasting them like that just to split them on nothing i'll take it though if he goes arrows rage on my magic archer then he can't kill my spear goblins okay i can just nato that i think and i should be okay 
yeah easy defense right here i don't even really need the spear goblins okay i'll just log as well i should actually take oh man i didn't hit the e golem blob so i'm gonna take like a few hundred damage it's all right though i'll just go for the minor plus wall breakers he has no arrows or rage in cycle so he shouldn't be able to kill my wall breakers nice one connection perfect spear gobs on defense and i want to save my evo valk for defense actually maybe i won't i'll go for the marcher here and i think i might want a valkyrie to protect it actually evo valk with a match garcher could be kind of deadly for this guy i'll just bomb tower early then i'll valkyrie too i, I just i can't really let my magic archer die here if, if i do it's kind of over unless he spells it of course which is fine oh evo wall breakers here he shouldn't be able to defend these tornado here nice v v valkyrie kill the bats oh my god the evo valkyrie it just killed all of his bats let's go magic archer again go for a second bomb tower man this is looking so bad for this guy i'll just valkyrie spear goblins and he has no spells in hand to kill it i don't even need to nato this should just be an easy easy win okay i'm gonna nato on those bats and then i'll go for the minor plus wall breakers and then pre-log no nah, i don't need to pre-log yep okay good thing that i didn't pre-log this magic archer low okay never mind bomb tower first S valkyrie yeah this is just over dude this guy can't do anything i could just tornado everything oh my god huge nato value <laughs> man this guy doesn't know what he's doing i'm just gonna mi i'm gonna minor wall breakers and then i'm gonna pre-log for the skellies <laughs> nice easy game thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video bye